Hi, um, I'm going to tie now uh, an emerger, an emerger, but the emerger of a mayfly, and I call it the 2102, which is um, kind of a new flies using the new technology provided by the magic tool or the stacker or everything together. So let's go. First of all, to make a split tail, I will use the thread. When I was using previously additional material like the floss. For that you double the thread like this and this is going to be a very helpful to split the tail. Instead of using a stiff material which is the Coq de Lampardo, I use here the, uh, an ant feather. It's much softer and uh, it moves a lot more than the pardo in the water so i just put a little amount like this that i'm going to split with this material left on the side okay and as you see i got a split tail I try to be very regular by holding the material all the way through in order to have a constant level on the shank. Now I will use a little bit of tinsel because everything which is under the water uh, has to be considered and uh, it's kind of important for me. I use a very light wire that's the reason I uh, turn it to secure. I rest the uh, amount on the side like this and then I use a CDC, an olive CDC to make the body. So I go up to the end of the body. I use the plier which is very useful to twist and wrap the feather around the hook shank and uh, you can do that very safely because it grabbed the feather very strongly. I try to incorporate as much as you can from the barbs by using your second hand and then when you reach the place where you want to stop the body you just go a few wraps to secure the feather and a few wraps to secure the thread. So clean up, be careful not to cut the wire, clean up the body and now I'm going to use the wire in the same location that I've been using the thread. Okay, this is the end with the tin cell wire. Now we are going to put the wing. The wing for the wing I will use this material which is the blue done. I prepare one, two feather, maybe three will do the job perfectly. I mean if you have a short feather you may use three. If you have long feather you may use two. It, it's very much related to the length of the feather. So drop in the table clip, then switch to the regular clip and then trim off the stems and then transfer to the other clip. Now I can use the stacker and put everything together that way. It's very handy and very quick. So a few wraps to secure the position of the wing. Then you trim the excess you have in front and you prepare to make the thorax and the legs. For that I like very much the color Bistre. So I will prepare one, two, of those and I will put them together 
choose the appropriate size of a table clip incorporate everything and then transfer to the regular clip then I can trim along the stem and then we are going to split a little bit the tying thread so like this and I can now incorporate the alcohol substitute that way turn a little bit in my finger and secure by twisting the bobbin holder when I've got enough twist I just go forward and then I prepare a little dubbing by just doing that so I will have enough to make the thorax to lift and to make the legs so for the final knot one whip finish knot another one and the work is done I check the length and now the shape so do not hesitate to cut the CDC there is absolutely no problem this is something that you can do with CDC that you cannot do with other material like the chicken because um, it's very stiff but here it's very irregular so you can cut the feather wherever you want you will not change the property and this is kind of a emerger soft tail body in the water and you can see it and few legs everything you need thank you for your attention